and the city hath no need of sun, neither of the moon, to shine upon it, for the glory of the Lord did lighten it. And the lamp thereof is the Lamb. He is the light of the world. He was the light of the world in Genesis 1.14. He was the light of the world when he preached. He was the light of the world when he revealed himself to Peter, James, and John. He is the light of the world, the millennial reign. And now he's the light of the world and is the temple. He has always been and always will be the light of the world. So, all the nations of the wor world, they walk in the light of his light. No day or night. Okay. And they shall bring, in verse 26, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations unto him. Now, oh, all right. We've, we've done this now. We are, let me see, I have to skip a few, let's see if I skip anything, but I got anything left here. Yes. Revelation 21, 27, and there shall in no wise enter into it. Who's going to enter into the city? None that are unclean. Or he that maketh an, an abomination or a lie, but only they that are written in the Lamb's book of life. We spoke about that Lamb's book. Only those in the Lamb's book can enter the city. And now it gets interesting, because now we have a throwback on the original creation. Revelation 22.1 And he showed me a river of water of life, bright as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of the Lamb. Wasn't well, it like that that river in the millennial reign coming out of Jerusalem? Yes! But there's one thing added here. It's the tree of life. This is, this is the, the new thing, which is the old thing in the eternal state. So, in the midst of the street thereof, and on this side of the river, and on there was the tree of life, on this side of the river, and on the on that side of the tree, both sides, there was a tree of life bearing twelve manner of fruits, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. So we're not told a lot about it, but Adam and Eve had a tree of life. If they had eaten it in Genesis, they would have lived forever. Well, here we go back, the tree of life. Now, what does that mean exactly? I'm, a, I'm apothesizing here a little bit. But, we have new glorified eternal bodies. It may just be we eat from that tree and it nourishes us so our bodies are eternally regenerated. I don't know, but it's there. And it's not there for no reason. But the tree of life suddenly reappears in the scriptures from Genesis. Now we see it in the book of Revelation. In the eternal state, it is there. And it goes on either side of this river of life flowing from Jerusalem. And there shall be no curse anymore. And the throne of God and the Lamb shall be there. And his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face. And his name shall be on their foreheads. People love to wear all these t-shirts, all these kinds of, you know, product names on them. We're, our, our name, we're going to have his name on us, if you will. His name shall be on their foreheads, and there shall be uh, night no more. They shall need no light, light of lamp, neither light of sun. For the Lord God shall give them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. The eternal state. So, just surmise this, and we're done here. The New Jerusalem, situated above, if you will, it already exists. The third heaven is the New Jerusalem. Heaven is going to come down, and heaven is going to be upon earth. There's, If you want to say heaven and you want to say the New Jerusalem, they are the same thing. This is the heaven that's going to come down, uh, of the heavens of heavens. The New Jerusalem is the abode of the triune God right now. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they dwell there. Also the dwelling place of the elect angels. The New Jerusalem is a dwelling place of redeemed saints. If you've died, the soul to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. There are souls of redeemed men in heaven, in this New Jerusalem, in heaven right now. The New Jerusalem is the heaven of heavens, or the third heaven. And some of you are not familiar with that. The first heaven is the sky above us, our atmosphere. The second heaven is outer space. 
The third heaven is the heaven of heavens or the dwelling place of God, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the angels and redeemed saints. So the third heaven. When the new heaven and new earth are created by God, the new Jerusalem will come down and land physically upon planet earth. Not beam me up, Scotty. Uh, Scotty, beam me down. That's going to happen here. Going to get beamed down this time. A whole, a whole city. Uh, if you want to distinguish between heaven and the New Jerusalem, then one can say that believers now go to the New Jerusalem in heaven, and eventually the New Jerusalem will be placed on the New Earth when the New Earth is created after the Messianic Kingdom, after the thousand-year reign of Christ. Okay, we are. We are done here, folks. All right. Uh, at the end of the book of Revelation, I didn't put it in my things here. John was told, you know, he's told to write. He's told to send this thing to the seven churches. They wrote it down, and now it comes to us. This is what God has told us about the things to come. He's told us much. If he told us more, we'd just have more questions. <laughs> Isn't that true? The more you know, the more questions you have. So, I mean, there is this unquenchable thirst in human beings. They want to know the future. That's, that's us. That's who we are. And so these are the things that God has revealed to us. And we're to know and to teach. And to think that when we get after the rapture, People all over the planet will start digging into the scriptures, looking at things, looking for their what? Their future. All laid out in the book. You have the privilege of knowing it now. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for these things, for the greatness of these things. Uh, that <laughs> you'll all begin tomorrow, Father, with the rapture. And we would be earnest and redeem the little bit of time that we have left before these things come upon this earth. In Jesus' name. Amen? If you haven't turned your titles in, you have another week to do it. If you have questions, send me an email. I'd be glad to help you with them if you're confused about things.